Please do sit down. As the Vice-Chancellor of the University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the ceremony for the School of Humanities. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my immediate left, Mr. Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq, who will be receiving an honorary degree of Doctor of Education. On my far left is Dr. Roland Hughes, Dean of the School of Humanities, and on my right, is Dr. Mary Watson, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Education and Student Experience. At the table to my extreme right is Mrs. Helen Davidson, the Deputy Secretary and Registrar, who carries in the university mace, the beautiful mace which you can see in front of me. And if I can just offer a word of warning, the mace is there for my protection. Mrs. Davidson is extremely strong and fit and if any of you feel inclined to take a, a, a selfie, she may be also inclined to use the mace to stop you. Uh, we will, of course, be delighted to take selfies after the platform uh, process. We'll now proceed with the presentation of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Dr. Watson to read a citation for the conferment of an honorary degree on Mr. Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. Vice-Chancellor, graduands and guests, it is my pleasure to read the citation for the conferment of the honorary award of Doctor of Education upon Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. Faisal is dedicated to reforming and improving education and literacy in Pakistan. He is a leading national teaching and learning practitioner and a social entrepreneur and has made a significant contribution to the education system in his home country. It's extremely challenging to capture all that he has achieved and the high regard in which he is held in a short citation. Faisal credits his mother, a teacher, as his inspiration. Growing up, he would see the difference she made in the lives of her students as she taught, counseled, advised and inspired them. He recognized then the enormous difference that a good education makes. Faisal's first steps into the world of work were in the area of finance. He graduated from the University of Salford with a degree in accounting and finance in 2001 and was recruited by Price Waterhouse Coopers Consulting in the City of London on its graduate recruitment program. Faisal enjoyed his career as a business and finance consultant, but as he reflected on his journey, he realized that he wanted to have a greater impact on the world. In April 2005, he flew back to Pakistan, leaving behind a prestigious career in the UK finance industry to the surprise of his family and friends in order to make a difference there. Faisal started by teaching accounting. He then introduced and pioneered the concepts of curriculum diversity, digital inclusion, training, coaching and mentoring, school and college counselling and foreign languages into the country's education system. From his passion for change, the Roots Millennium Education Group and the Millennium Universities Colleges TMUC were born. Between them, these organizations offer continuous education at all levels, from early years through to an advanced undergraduate degree and postgraduate diploma. Faisal also realized that there was no institution in Pakistan that offers transnational education. He was keen to change that and approached the University of Hertfordshire to partner with TMUC. He credited the university's business-facing stance, its emphasis on employability, and its global local outlook 
was making hearts a perfect fit for what he wanted to achieve through TMUC. To date, more than 350 students have achieved University of Hertfordshire degrees as a result of this partnership. Nearly 450 are actively studying for a three-year programme and more than 500 students have applied directly to study here on campus in the UK. Faisal has set up the not-for-profit Change in Education Foundation to work with the public education system in Pakistan, bringing reform and opportunities to deserving children all over the country. The Change in Education Foundation has successfully reformed more than 200 government schools across Pakistan over the last 15 years. Faisal's significant contribution has been widely acknowledged. In 2013, he was one of the youngest ever people to be conferred with one of the highest national civil awards in Pakistan, the tama e imtiaz the equivalent of a knighthood, by the President of Pakistan in recognition of his outstanding services to languages promotion, education, literacy, youth and advocacy. He has been named as one of the 500 most influential Muslims in the country for three consecutive years. In 2012, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry identified him as the best young entrepreneur of the year. In 2014, he was named Best Educationalist of the Year by the President of Pakistan in recognition once again of his contribution to education, teaching and learning. In 2018, he was made the Minister for School and Higher Education, Human Rights and Social Welfare in the Interim Government, reflecting his significant impact he has made to the millions of lives he has touched in his home country. We are delighted to be adding to this impressive list of awards today. Vice-Chancellor, in recognition of outstanding achievement, I ask that you confer the honorary award of Doctor of Education upon Chowdhury Faisal Mushtaq. I now call upon Dr. Mushtaq to address the assembly. Thank you very much. Honorable Vice Chancellor, graduates, proud parents, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. Thank you, University of Hertfordshire. I would like to thank you all, and most profoundly, Vice Chancellor and the University, for this extraordinary and the most humbling recognition of the honorary award of Doctor of Education for my services to the home country, Pakistan. It comes as a gratifying surprise. I am immensely honored, Vice Chancellor. When I was in Pakistan, I was reflecting, what did I do right to deserve this recognition? But after spending 10 days and day zero in a West Heathrow quarantine hotel, I do honestly feel I deserve this recognition. <laughs> day zero was important to note. I feel most privileged to receive the doctorate honoris causa from the most prestigious, diverse, employable, and the business-facing university of the world, the University of Hertfordshire. I accept the honorary degree wholeheartedly on behalf of the hardworking and the passionate teaching and learning community of Pakistan, women and men and children in particular across our classrooms. Thank you all very much. What does it mean to me? People ask me, what do you do? And I say, I trade in hope. For me, teaching and learning is a journey, not a destination. This award shall further strengthen my commitment to promote more inclusive and equitable education in my country, aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 2030. 
My dear graduates, you are digital natives, not digital immigrants. Everyone shall ask you, what is your story? Even Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, they ask you daily, what is your story? You must have a story, or at least have a storyboard based on your passion, skills, and subject. Or think about one, curate one, or become a story yourself. Take your time as your journey has just started. From a very early age after my graduation, when I was working in London, I realized what good is a profit if it does not profit the society. So I created my own story based on my self-actualized principles of people, planet, and passion. Taking inspiration from my hardworking and noble parents as educationists, I realized at a very early age that schools around the world, they sponsor knowledge societies, and universities around the world they sponsor knowledge economies. So I decided to trade in hope and social impact. My mom wanted me to be a chartered accountant, and that's the reason I studied finance and accounting, whereas I had a flair for politics, philosophy, and economics. My head was at the right place, but not my heart. So one fine day, I decided that I will write my story in a country or in a community where it is more likely to be read and I flew back to Pakistan, leaving behind a prestigious career here in the UK. My fellow graduates, in today's time and age, the only thing which is certain is called uncertainty. The only constant in the world is called change. And the only thing that you must learn should be your ability to unlearn and relearn. You are citizens and the voices of the pandemic I call you pandizans, just like netizens. With the scale world has never seen before, you have the opportunity to transform this adversity into an opportunity, both in terms of the jobs that you seek and the jobs that you create, as budding graduates or as enabling entrepreneurs. The importance of your university education, I have been reflecting on it as a full circle of life. In the very first scenes of the 1994 Disney classic, The Lion King, the King Mufasa talking to his son Simba, he says, everything that you see exists together in a thin, delicate balance. Yes, we are all connected, the circle of life, meaning that we start at the end and we end in the beginning. Our lives from the beginning to an end resemble a complete circle. No matter how big or small the circle is, it will end exactly the same way for everyone. Graduates, on this special day where you have worked so hard for your reward, let me give you five takeaways to trade in hope. Number one, whatever you do, trade in equity. As graduates, remember, what good is private equity in absence of social equity? What good is a capital market in absence of human capital? And if we had more social equity today, we would have seen a more fairer, equitable, and a just world. Takeaway number two, trade and inclusion. As nature needs to be nurtured, and if green is the new red, and if blue is the new economy, and if Brexit is the name of the new exit, then remember, inclusivity is the new exclusivity for the membership of the club of life. Number three, trade in empathy. Do your business of life with empathy as equity, and you will see the windfall of dividends. Empathy overshadows sympathy and is the single common denominator for your happiness, well-being, and joy in the celebration of life. Takeaway number four, trade in sustainability. The key to understanding the future is one word, sustainability. What good is a social science degree in absence of a social impact? And remember, whatever you do, it should be scalable, it should be sustainable, and it must have a social impact. If you trade your career choices based on the five principles of equity, inclusion, empathy, sustainability, and humanity, you may be able to complete your own circle of life. I would say talent these days is asymptomatic. You need to test yourself. Trends have changed. Some may be positive, but not very happy. Some may be negative, 
yet very happy like myself. I call it the self-actualization test. You need to do it yourself. Finally, thank you, Pakistan, for giving me the opportunity to help make a difference. My family, my friends, some sitting here, my teaching and learning colleagues, my students, and my staff, thank you. Thank you, mom and dad, for raising me well, my lovely wife, Anna, my son, Ahil, my daughter, Jannat, back home in Pakistan. Thank you for your unconditional love and enduring support. In the end, as we stand today in the house of God, we must reflect clearly why nature is in conflict with science. And for that, you must make the choices that you make. You must make the right choices that you make. You must take the chances that you need to take. And you must create the change that you all wish to see in support of your dreams. Remember, talent is universal. Opportunity is not. As you graduate with a huge opportunity today, I wish you the best in your endeavors. And as the Vice Chancellor, Professor Quinton says, go Hurts. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, my dear graduates, I thank you all very much. Well done, Faisal. That was lovely. Really excellent. Well done. Well done. You can sit down now. We shall now receive the graduates of the School of Humanities. The graduates are presented by a member of academic staff from their school or department. And I first call upon Dr. Saskia Kirsten to present. School of Humanities, Doctor of Philosophy. Philip John Cohen has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Hearts and Minds, the Propaganda War over the British Nuclear Deterrent, 1957 to 1963. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Philip John Cohen. Doctor of Philosophy. David Peter Noble has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a programme of work entitled Primitive Methodism in Hertfordshire from 1838 to 1918, a socio-economic and demographic study. Vice Chancellor, Dr. David Peter Noble. Master of Arts by Research. Natalie Rachel Walker has been awarded the degree of Master of Arts by Research in recognition of a program of work entitled Speaking Stitches, Laughing Flowers, an emblematic reinterpretation of the rainbow portrait of Elizabeth I. Vice Chancellor, Natalie Rachel Walker. Master of Arts degree in Creative Writing, Philip Barr. <laughs> Jake Engelzoo. <laughs> Master of Arts degree in Folklore Studies, Jamie Lee Tapsell. Master of Arts degree in Global Film and Television, Alexander David Jameson. <laughs> Genevieve Imoni, Mary Thalida Lewis.
Matthew Anthony McHale. Winner of a gold Go Hearts Award. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, sorry. Master of Arts degree in History. Alexander Stuart Burnett Walkington. <laughs> Master of Arts degree in Journalism and Media Communications. Emma Jo Beach. <laughs> Cassidy Townhe Ta. Master of Arts degree in Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages, Joanna Parfin. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in English Literature, winner of a University Prize, Grace Anne Durant. Megan Louise Hearn. Orla Claire Keeney. Amber Shafiq. Caristia Angelica Foa Villanueva. <laughs> Sabrina Susanna Walsh. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism. Gopika Matusudanan. Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism and Creative Writing, Chloe Eva Brown. <laughs> Rachel Louise Burton. <laughs> Bola Watifa Famoden. Mia Lucia Hill. <laughs> Jessica Kate Pratt. <laughs> Simran Kaur Purawal. Tafadzwa Uapunga. <laughs> Jennifer Simon. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism and Creative Writing with a year abroad. Winner of the Harry Victor Prize, Leah Sean Kelly.
Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism and Creative Writing with Study Abroad, Madhumita Venkatesan. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Journalism and Media, Rebecca Ann Leslie Aldridge. Samra El Mamoun Abdesalam. <laughs> Lois Erin Godbold. <laughs> Tia Lauren Rosie Housen. Harris Joyce Nash. <laughs> Zach Liam Ottaway. <laughs> Lucy Charlotte Pearson. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Chloe Olivia Sladden. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Lauren May Ann Taylor. Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communications. Brandon Vincent Cho Jun Ming. <laughs> Chloe May Burke. <laughs> Gemma Candy. Kimberly Sue Chien Chie. <laughs> Peter Coman. <laughs> Olivia Hannah Davis. Jasminda Singh Dothar. Andrea Evagora. Hannah Kwok Beng Zay. Charlotte Victoria Kemble. Socrate Luyendula Kiabala. Chu Jun Lee. <laughs> Zhu N. Lim. <laughs> Lim Chun N. <laughs> Ucha Samuel Oko. O 
Ola Watoyan Esther Olafemi. Emilio Aratis. Daryl Ian Peter. Stephanie Sarah Victoria Searle. <laughs> Winner of a Silver Go Hearts Award, Michelle Huey K. Teo. Sian Janique Thompson Dean. <laughs> Hannah Julia Tyler. <laughs> Fatima Yahaya Yari. Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communications with a year abroad, Sam Curtin. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Mass Communications with study abroad, Phoebe Bell Joyce Francis. Bachelor of Arts degree in Media and Creative Writing, Lewis Jackson. <laughs> Jasimran Kaur. <laughs> Paige Law. Bachelor of Arts degree in Media and Creative Writing with a year abroad, Matthew Timothy Bridge. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Media and Publishing, Christina Opayemi Iyanu Olua Bello. Charlene Tatenda Nyanyira. <laughs> Mavel Santiago. <laughs> Rajdeep Singh. Danielle Titchener. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts degree in Politics and International Relations. Abdullahi Omar Mohammed Abdi. Syed Junaid Ali. <laughs> Oluwafun Miladi Adinreli Babade. <laughs> Salma Begum.
Olivia Jane Donovan. Jacob Michael Dyer. Ruth Ibukonalua Ajoke Kadiri. Aisha Binti Kamara. Winner of a university prize, Sara Kalekyar. Joseph Henry Maiden. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Chloe Margaret Katrina McKendrick. Wada Umi Abedin Miyajun. <laughs> Naomi Jane Iris Baker. <laughs> Excuse me, paper's in the wrong order. Lydia Amma Sewa Nyaku. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Gemma Louise Olive. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Monica Sidhu. Njenga Wamai. Israel Osamudiame Yasufu A.K. Bachelor of Arts degree in Politics and International Relations with a year abroad, Chamail Taya Bailey. <laughs> Cayman Ward Brickett. The following award was achieved under the Humanities Programme, Bachelor of Arts degree. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Yuande Toabola Adigan. <laughs> Alina Ahmed. Jack Joseph Alsop. <laughs> Shamsa Amar. <laughs> Goretti Sophie Amaro. Her pet, Priyanka Herodiana Antal. <laughs> A 
Anexi Anthony Kumar. <laughs> Keely Sarah Archer. <laughs> Minas Badiuddin. Naomi Jane Iris Baker. <laughs> Emily Ball. <laughs> Pariston Sabir Banks. Kira Leanne Barham. <laughs> Leah Annika Barrett. <laughs> Dylan Boyacci. Jessica Aya Tulip Boyd. Robin Michael Peter Bristow. Bethany Jane Burrows. Rebecca Sophie Calverley. Georgiana Chambu. Nicholas Peter Chandler. Jade Samantha Childs. <laughs> Holly Elizabeth Clark. <laughs> Lauren Cloak. Mary May Elsie Conway. <laughs> Asher Joel Cooper. <laughs> Emily Chantel Cooper. Joshua Cousins. Chris Crockett. Catherine Dalcho. Ileana Dimitriou. <laughs> Thomas Matthew Dolan. <laughs> Isabella Rose Edgar. Layla Salim Ibrahim Elayan.
Tanisha Erongot Oteng. <laughs> Henna Faisal. <laughs> Chloe Louise Black. Ryan Flower. <laughs> Jessica May Forbes. <laughs> Ashanai Quenby Carla Mnika Gale. Chanel Francesca Goddard. <laughs> Dana Lakshmi Goinden. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Jessica Maria Gonzalez. Maya Lilith Grant. <laughs> Rebecca Linda Ann Graves. <laughs> Natalia Simone Greed. Hannah Louise Gregory. <laughs> Rosen Gurung. <laughs> Umalkaya Elmi Halane. Alpina Tamana Hack. <laughs> Scarlett Elizabeth Hesselwood. <laughs> Shanaz Jamila Hassani. Sean Amy Hooker. <laughs> Winner of a Silver Go Hearts Award, Adelina Antonietta Yakurto. <laughs> Casey Joanne Jackson. Natalia Maya Janowska. <laughs> Alfie Richard Frank Jenner. <laughs> Sophie Nicole Desiree Johnson. Callum Kedge. <laughs> Hughie Carey. <laughs> Arkifa Kauza Khan. Mariam Famida Khan. <laughs> Ma
Yasmin Viana Kazari. Isabella Aldona Kovalevska. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Maria Jane Ellen Lay. Alexander James Leonards. Omashola Dorothy McCauley. Helen Manning. Rihanna Page Bernice Matthews Nelson. Anna McMon McMonagall. Winner of a University Prize, Joanna Ingrid Ment. Shalom Michael. Natasha Miller. Zainab Naseem Mohammed. <laughs> Natasha Manuela Montero Silva. Luke Montgomery. <laughs> Winner of a University Prize, Lydia Victoria Montgomery. <laughs> Francesca Mosagna. Grace Constance Mulungui. Francis Louise Norman. Bradley Warren Oakes. Ifioma Tolawalashe Beverly Oriaku. <laughs> Dalton James Piggott. <laughs> Elise Elizabeth Mulqueen. Arij Raja. <laughs> Tasfia Rakib. <laughs> Robert Riley. Bethany Lauren Reynolds. <laughs> Holly Ann Reynolds. <laughs> Ra 
Rebecca Elizabeth Robertson. Poppy Annabelle Rogers. <laughs> Elaine Isabel Sanderson. <laughs> Phoebe Elizabeth Saunders. Iman China Scott. Rain Kristin Senek. Hadassah Sara Shiradsky. Emily Rebecca Silva. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Fikemi Aisha Simei Akajagbo. Courtney Louise Smith. <laughs> Nikki Ashby Smithson. <laughs> Maywish Sohail. Simran Soor. <laughs> Sinova Spittle. <laughs> Molly Elizabeth Stevens. Samantha Jane Stewart. <laughs> Annie Catherine Thomas. <laughs> Jasmine Catherine Tyndall. Do Tan Ngok Truong. <laughs> Ellie Rose White. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Neve Ellis Sarah Williams. Robin Abigail F. Williams. Charlotte Alice Catherine Wilson. Aidan Ross Young. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Mariam Zaman. The following awards were achieved under the University Joint Honours Program. Bachelor of Science degree, Oliver James Cassidy. Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Anna Maria Siofu.
Thomas Peter Fester. <laughs> Keris May Jones. <laughs> Ilyas Mohamed. George Robert Muddyman. <laughs> Aliza Saida Rizvi. <laughs> Temitopi Sowimino. Sinead Rose Anne St. John. <laughs> Winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Arontia Leila Stavropoulos. <laughs> Oscar Terry. Bachelor of Arts degree, winner of a Gold Go Hearts Award, Mohammed Abdus Samad. Rahul Rai Banker. <laughs> Eric Dennis George. <laughs> Nyron Daniel Oates. Milos Petrovic. <laughs> Aisha Rahman. <laughs> Isha Salam. It's now my pleasure to call upon Yuande to Obola Adigun to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. Good afternoon, Vice Chancellor, all academic lecturers and tutors, and ladies and gentlemen. I stand here on behalf of my fellow graduates to say a big thank you for the time we have spent at the University of Hertfordshire. In our time here, we have learnt a great deal and are grateful that despite all the turbulence we have experienced in the past year and a half, we have all been able to graduate successfully from the university. Although our individual experiences have been unique, we have all shared the joy of studying at the University of Hertfordshire. Having a community of wonderful academics who have spent their time instilling a great deal of knowledge into us. And this is something that will remain with us forever, as we all know that no knowledge is lost. I was lucky enough to study abroad in Cyprus. 
and that is one experience I would never forget. Although the pandemic cut it shut, I still managed to complete the year abroad online, and I will always recommend to all students that if you happen to have the option to study abroad, take it, explore it, and see what is out there. They say the world is your oyster, but I say it is only when you explore it. Personally, I am a mother, a wife, a sister, an aunt, and more. And studying for me was absolutely amazing. Who says it is not possible to study at any age? I can categorically state that it is. And I would definitely recommend it. I would like to offer our sincere thanks to family and friends who have supported and encouraged us on our journeys. At this point, I would like to congratulate Dr. Chaudhry Faisal Mustag, who has received a Doctor of Education honor for his significant contribution to the provision of education in Pakistan. I will miss the Spots Village where I had the opportunity to play badminton as an active student. How many people here had free sessions as active students? Me? It was definitely a fantastic experience queuing up outside the courts, waiting for the doors to open for our sessions to begin. Trust me, it was always packed, but I enjoyed my time at the Spots Village, especially as it was free. The university provided many opportunities to develop skills we wouldn't otherwise have considered. How many of us took boxing lessons? I did, and I really loved it because it enabled me to improve my self-confidence to cope with situations. I learned some great moves in those 10 weeks. It is with great joy that I stand on this podium to offer our sincere gratitude to all our lecturers for all your efforts your time and your knowledge, and the impact that this has had on us. We will take these gains with us throughout our life journeys, and we'll always remember that we proudly graduated from this awesome institution. Thank you so much for all you do, all you have done, and all you will continue to do. Thank you, Vice Chancellor, for receiving the graduates of the School of Humanities. Thank you. Yawandi, thank you for the, those, those very kind words. And I did note uh, uh, that you are a, a, a boxer and shall uh, be very careful when I speak to you in future. Uh, it's a very great privilege for me to be the very first person to congratulate our new graduates from the, the School of Humanities. What a fantastic achievement. I wonder if you might join with me once more in giving them a great big round of applause. Yawande very kindly mentioned colleagues behind me and, and others throughout the university who have supported our students and I'm sure uh, uh, they've given all the uh, encouragement and support that they could for your time uh, here at the university. But could I also at this point uh, acknowledge the people sitting in front of me, the, the friends, the relatives, mums, dads, uh, those who have come to support you here today, uh, your journey at the university has been made, I'm sure, much easier as a consequence of the efforts that they've put in as well. And I wonder if the graduates might join me in thanking both my academic colleagues and all those who have come to support you today. Thank you very much.
Now, Faisal gave you five pointers to success. I'm going to give you five more. I'm going to base mine, though, on the values that we have as a university. We have a set of values. We, we uh, embrace them under the sort of acronym FACES, and they include friendly, ambitious, uh, uh, collegiate, enterprising, and particularly for those of us on the stage, student focused. And I do think it's extraordinary to, to be in an organization with 3,000 employees, 25,000 students in the United Kingdom, another 5,000 overseas, a turnover of more than 300 million pounds, and to have your first core value to be friendship. Is that not just marvelous? And I hope that while you've been at the university, I hope that you've developed lifelong friends, and I hope that you, of course, develop as you go into your careers, new friends. Uh, and I believe firmly that by so doing, you will have happier lives. And of course, you'll make other people happier as well through those friendships. Now, I also, of course, want you to be ambitious. Uh, wouldn't it be marvelous if some of you became searingly wealthy and remembered the university but that's not the ambition I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ambition for yourselves and your own careers. Ambition, of course, for your families and for your communities and indeed for your countries. I hope you can take that ambition away from the university uh, and, and hold on to it during your careers from here on. What about collegiality? Well, my understanding of collegiality is to do things within whichever environment you find yourself, whether it's within your family or, or, or within your workplace, but to do things for others which don't directly benefit yourself. That's the kind of collegiality I hope that you're able to embrace uh, uh, as you leave the University of Hertfordshire. And then enterprising. Well, we are a business-facing university. The University of Hertfordshire prides itself in being business-facing. Faisal commented on it in his uh, acceptance speech. And I, I really hope that you can be, we don't necessarily mean that you're all going to go out as entrepreneurs and set up your own businesses, although it would be wonderful if some of you did that. But I want you to be enterprising within whatever walk of life you find yourself, because that will enhance the business you're in. It'll uh, uh, bring new things to that business and, of course, make it more prosperous. And, of course, for those of us on the stage here, being student focused is uh, absolutely uh, critical uh, to, to us as educators. But I hope now also that those of you, as you go into the workplace, that have the opportunity to do so, will also look to students of the future. Give them placements where you have the opportunity to do that. Uh, perhaps do apprenticeships through your workplace. However that evolves, please do support students as they come through. And in particular, of course, mentorship is deeply important for our students if you can offer them that. Uh, that would be fantastic. So if you remember our values, our FACES values as a university, I'm sure we will all be extremely proud of you uh, on the stage. Now, I want to leave you with one last thought. Uh, some of you will have seen the, the grey sweatshirts that some of our students wear with Go Hearts written on them. When you see someone, and I hope you see them across the world, but when you see them walking up the street, perhaps in Nairobi, perhaps in London, perhaps in Edinburgh, I want you to walk up to them and I want you to go, Go Hearts! <laughs> now, uh, there's a chap just fell off his seat <laughs> at the back there. Uh, I, Faisal did a rather lame impression of my Go Hearts earlier. So I'm going to encourage him to do it with me again in a slightly more robust way. I personally think it sounds best. Mary and I can do it best because we've got Scottish accents. Uh, I personally think it sounds best with a Scottish accent. So you can impersonate a Scotsman, if you like, at this point. I don't think we'll be hurt by that. Uh, but what I would like you to do is all join with me in a great go hearts. Now, I, I, I should tell you, this is competitive graduation because I'm competing with my deputy who also does some of these uh, ceremonies. So if it's not loud enough, we're going to stay here until it gets loud enough. Okay, so I'm going to do it on the count of three, and I want you all to join with me in a great go hearts. I should also say it's desperately embarrassing if I'm the only person that does it. <laughs> so please join with me. Okay, on the count of three, 
One, two, three. Go Hearts! Oh, come on. One more. Oh, okay. One more. On the count of three. One, two, three. Go, go Hearts! Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll let them go now. <laughs> now, uh, uh, that concludes, I, I say formal parts, not terribly formal, the formal part of the proceedings. Uh, I would like now to invite you to return to the post-ceremony marquee where light refreshments, refreshments will be served. Could I, though, first ask you to be upstanding as the academic procession leaves the Abbey? Thank you very much. <laughs>